Is it just me or are mosquitoes having a moment? Hey friends, Dr. Abdul Al Said here. Before I go on, make sure to like, subscribe, talk to your friends and put on some deep because well, mosquitoes are out here. Take a listen to this clip over here. We do have some breaking news right now. We've just learned that Dr. Anthony Fauci is recovering from a pretty rare case of West Nile virus. A statement says that he had been hospitalized with the case of the West Nile, but is now home and recovering. A full recovery is expected. There is no word on how or where he was when he contracted the virus. We, of course, are going to stay on top of this breaking story. Dr. Fauci, say it ain't so, but thankfully he is convalescing. And then, well, there's this other clip here. State health officials, meantime, in Massachusetts and New York, are warning of a high risk of a fatal mosquito-borne disease being spread. The extremely rare eastern equine encephalitis, also known as Triple E, is spread from horses to people through infected mosquitoes. It's usually found in eastern or Gulf Coast states. The CDC says that there is no treatment or vaccine available. So what do both of these headlines have in common? Yeah, they're both about mosquito-borne illnesses. West Nile virus is what we call a zoonotic illness, meaning it has a reservoir in animals. And in this case, it's in birds. Mosquitoes, well, they'll bite birds, and then the virus will sit in those mosquitoes and start to replicate. And when they come and bite us, then they transmit the virus. And in most cases, it's actually asymptomatic. But in some cases, it can cause some serious symptoms, particularly in seniors. And let's face it, uh, Dr. Fauci is no spring chicken. Although if I get to his age and I have the same vigor and state of mind, I will be a very, very happy old man. But there is one form of West Nile virus when it infects the central nervous system, specifically the brain and the spinal cord. That's the worst form. Thankfully, Dr. Fauci has no evidence of having had that, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Eastern equine encephalitis, however, is a far more serious illness, although it's substantially more rare than West Nile. And thankfully, it's usually limited to a particular part of the country, the Gulf Coast and the Southeast Coast. You're thinking about the Carolinas, Georgia, and Alabama. But interestingly, the cases that we've seen crop up have been in New Hampshire. Yeah, that's uncommon and really quite interesting. And it tells us something about the situation here. It's not that necessarily that we're having more cases of mosquito-borne illnesses this year. It's that we're having them in locations that are somewhat uncommon for these kinds of illnesses. And that, well, that, that's a real issue. But there's one disease that's actually a lot more common in the United States than it's ever been. And that's dengue fever. Yeah, dengue fever. Not a disease you usually think about in the United States. But hey, take a look at this graph here. It's showing you the number of cases in Latin America and the Caribbean. And well, that's really frightening because we're getting more cases in our neck of the woods. Now, I want you to take a look at this graph here from the CDC to put it in different terms. Take a look at the number of cases in 2024 relative to, well, every other year since 1990. Yeah, that's pretty astounding. I want to talk a little bit more about what this all means after this message from our sponsors, the Marguerite Casey Foundation. Summer may be winding down, but Marguerite Casey Foundation Summer School is heating up with live virtual political education sessions headlined by visionary movement organizers, activist scholars, and policy experts, MCF Summer School participants get access to ideas and analysis that's helping create a people and planet-centered future. Add your name today to get a link to join upcoming MCF Summer School webinars on building a multiracial working people's coalition and the transformative power of solidarity organizing. Join the over 1,700 people who've signed up for MCF Summer School at caseygrants.org slash summer school. That's C-A-S-E-Y-G-R-A-N-T-S dot org slash summer school. So, Dr. Fauci gets West Nile virus, we're seeing eastern equine encephalitis in New Hampshire, and we're seeing huge numbers of dengue fever in the Americas, far more than we'd seen before. So, why? Well, climate change. Yeah, now, you didn't think this was going to be a climate video, but, but let me explain why. The mosquitoes that carry these diseases, they're finding more and more of the Americas habitable. And so, when you have more plentiful mosquitoes, you end up having more plentiful mosquito-borne illness. And that's a real foundational problem. See, there are so many ways that climate change impacts our health. There's a direct impact in terms of heat illnesses, a topic of a past video we've already done. Take a look. There's the impact that this is going to have on the probability that you have new viruses and bacteria jumping from wild animal species into humans as that barrier between us starts to get slimmer and slimmer as the habitable environment for so many of these species starts to degrade as a function of climate change. But it's also the impact that climate change is going to have on the habitable environments of illness-carrying mosquitoes. I want you to take a look at this graphic here. What you're seeing here is the number of months across the globe where you can expect the risk of illnesses borne by a certain kind of mosquito. It's called Aedes aegypti. 
And what you see is as global temperatures rise, the habitable environment for the Aedes mosquito just starts to increase. And what you're seeing here is the expansion of these mosquitoes into Canada such that you literally have risk for mosquito-borne illnesses that we once thought were contained to tropical communities. So that means that all of us living in the United States, we've got to be more on the lookout for the risk of mosquito-borne illnesses, whether it's West Nile and Dr. Fauci, Eastern equine encephalitis in New Hampshire, or dengue fever in the southern part of the country. So what do you do? Well, just make sure you're wearing mosquito repellent because we're in the thick of mosquito season, which is August and September. Make sure to wear a repellent with DEET. And yeah, don't forget, the way that we get our energy, it can come back to bite us in the butt, literally.